When you think of this Porsche 911, you think a bad boy. When you think of this Porsche 911, you think a bad boy. When you think of this Porsche 911 with these rims, you think of Will Smith. I here reviewing the Porsche 911. All black with the chrome rims. With the big old wing in the back. Can't get no better than that. I don't think we ever seen a big wing like this on the back of the vehicle. We also have the big chrome board tips. So you gonna hear me coming down the block. For a little coupe, it's pretty big. You gas up in the front. Don't get me wrong, but I think this is a storage compartment in the front as well. And this is a 1996, like I say, the bad boy edition, 1996, 911 Porsche. Has a sunroof, little spoiler in the back. Also has infinity sound system. Can't get no better than that. Like I say, this is a place to come if you want something exclusive, man. You kind of express, auto express for you, man. And get you something exclusive, bro. Like this is not no regular dealership. You gonna get something fly, something that you feel like you deserve, man. Like my birthday coming up, and I feel like I, I should pull off from this for my birthday. What y'all think, man? Comment in the section below and tell me what y'all think, man. Should I pull off in the 911? Should I pull off in the Phantom? Or should I pull off in the Bentley or the G-Wagon? Y'all let me know, man. One car, you really have to pay attention to detail. You see the ventilation system on the engine in the back area. The pipes, the way they hitting the floor. It's a legendary, a legendary whip. Porsche. Five fifty, man. They got different. We in the G wagon right now. You feel me? Gotta love the steering wheel, boy. All right, caressing it. And then it also has the the park button. It has a little dial right here. It's you, so you gotta excuse what you see. But it got this nice little dial set up right here for your seat, so you can play with the seats. I like their standard system that they got, you know. Mercedes, they don't step their game up. Nah, they don't they don't step it up a lot. So these, oh they actually got the one where you put the key in the ignition. It's not a push stop for this key wax. But it's clean, bro. It's clean. All black. G wagon. Tets on it. I like it. V8, G-Wagon, also got the bumper grill. I don't like that bumper grill, that grill is hard. Got the little light on top, you know what I mean? Gotta like that. They also got the grand cherry It's SR, is it, is it, is it, is it, it look like the SRT8. Gotta like the grill on that. But it looked like they done pulled too close up to the curb. Gotta bend that back. I like this 630. We got a 635 1989 BMW here. Gotta like it. Got the Captain, what was that, Captain America? BMW cover right there, that's hard, that's hard. Also got the 2005 Crossfire Chrysler. I like that. Got the metallic silver, leather seats. Also like how the wing comes out in the back. This is nice. Like I said, you see the G-Wagon over there. Ain't too far from it. Jaguar kind of old school, but I still push it. Oh, you cool, dude. You alright? You looking for something or you waiting for somebody? Oh, no, no, y'all. We in the G-Wagon right now. 
I don't got the key. I'm waiting on buddy to bring back that key. Right. I close the door on the G-Wagon. Show y'all the step ladder. Still in very good condition. Like I say, it's a V8, big body. How you doing? And then we also have the lane switching. We also have the lights on the on the mirror. So people know when it's time to switch lanes and get out the way. Because it's big body G-Wagon. Also had that big Mercedes logo on that nice casing for the G-Wagon as well. And then for the people that ain't know what the G was, the G550, man. It got different ones. But as you can see, even the trunk space is worth looking at. Of course, you can pull that over if you had like snacks or something or Xbox or sound system you didn't want somebody to see, you'll pull that over. This is very this is this is a very spacious vehicle. You also have the voltage unit. You can actually plug up like a home outlet inside your vehicle. It's first time in a G Wagon. Like I say, um, uh, we just doing a car review on the G Wagon G550 on Blazes TV. You it's it's it's, it's, it's OG right now. Can't get no better than this. I'm just, I'm just glad you guys are here with me right now to review the G550. And we're gonna come back over here to the driver's seat. I said the driver's seat. I feel very much so comfortable to be in here. I like the little TV setup. Always need to have airbags. Even on the passenger side, as you can see, they also have the memory unit for the seats and the standard button as well. Everything is pretty much premium leather or good quality. I love this head unit right here. You also have the central climate control right here. Small little area to change your gears. Nothing too serious. Even in the center console, nothing too serious, not too sophisticated like the Phantom. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably bring the, the steering wheel down a little bit. It also has paddle shifters in the back. Can y'all see the paddle shifters right here, man? Like, it's a big deal with the G-Wagon, man. It's a big deal, man. Riding presidential in one of these bad boys. But like, I, like, like I want to let y'all know, man. I'm not a rich person. I work hard. But I'm glad I had this opportunity to be around things like these, man. Just let the people know. Like, you can change your life, man. You can do a lot of different things, man. You just apply yourself. You know what I'm saying?